There is a long-standing debate in finance uh, about differences in approaches. What is better, quantitative approach or discretionary approach? What people don't get right about quantitative approach is people believe, a lot of people believe, that quants don't understand fundamentals. I'm going to address this issue here. Discretionary traders think in stories and quants think in numbers. Therefore, to go for a trade, discretionary trader needs to come up with a story and the quants would come up with backtest. Story is a powerful communication tool that leads from a factor to a conclusion. If investor follows that logic, it becomes an investment thesis. So quants do not think in stories. And that's why people argue they don't understand fundamentals. But I'm here to argue that quants understand fundamentals in much deeper way. See, discretionary trader takes a factor like inflation. It's a big, big, important factor and comes up with a variety of conclusions. One of the conclusions can be repricing between value and growth stocks. Quants, however, they don't like to think about factors as a once in lifetime events. They like repeatable stuff on which they can build models. So they look at inflation, but they look at inflation slightly differently. They look at small changes of inflation expectation, and they look at how these small changes result in changes of prices in the market. Therefore, they build much granular, much deeper and, and more consistent understanding of, of, of that picture. You can look at, this, at the same structure and come up to the same conclusion about changes of prices of growth and value stocks, but in a much more continuous way. So one can say that discretionary trader come to a betting table and bets all in once in a blue moon. Meanwhile, quants do continuous bets and they control the outcome, distribution of the outcome of their, of their betting. This is why I argue that quants understand fundamentals. Bye.